you ever feel like no one else believes in you? It can be challenging to stay positive and motivated when it seems like nobody else has faith in your abilities. But there is hope. It's possible to believe in yourself, even when everyone around you doesn't see your vision. In this video, we'll explore eight empowering beliefs and strategies for cultivating self-belief and resilience even when faced with doubt from others. Stick around till the end to learn the habits of success, change negative thoughts, develop belief in your abilities, learn how to believe in yourself when nobody else does, and make a huge difference in your life. Let's discuss cultivating faith and confidence in ourselves, our skills, and our aspirations for what we aim to create in the world or our personal lives. In 2015, I had a vision and some ideas, and I wanted to inspire and help and motivate people. I started my website, PositiveThinkingMind.com, and I began by posting inspirational quotes. Only a few people found my website, and at one point I felt I was wasting my time. I continued this for a while, but wanted more and kept going. As time passed, my vision changed and evolved into writing personal development, self-care, mindfulness, and self-help articles. Back then, most people wrote about either travel or fashion, and I felt weird continuing to post about this stuff. It wasn't too popular, but I still felt there was a gap, and I knew I could talk about it, and people needed help. I also felt judged by family, friends, and peers that I was doing something they didn't understand, looked down on me for continuing my path, and wasn't supported. Through the negativity, I knew what I wanted to create. I made a solid commitment to myself and my vision, and it took a long time before people finally saw what I had envisioned. Slowly, people began to find my website and began writing in comments and sending me emails about how much I helped them. And this made me happy and helped me fuel my desire to want to help more people. I decided to expand on social media, and began to post videos on YouTube, created a podcast. I took coaching classes, became a certified master life coach, and created a self-esteem course. When I started PositiveThinkingMind.com, I envisioned what it could be. As I posted videos, I obviously didn't know what I was doing, and sometimes I, I still don't know everything that I'm doing. Some videos are bad, and I keep trying to figure out one video at a time, always learning something different. We all have different perspectives. Only you can see what you want to accomplish and create. People around you won't get it because they can't see your vision. They might judge you and call you dumb, but it's all up to you to not let it bother you and keep moving forward. Truly believe in yourself. Believe in your goals. Believe in your dreams. Believing in yourself is a powerful way to push past negative feedback and self-doubt, and it's one of the foundational things you need to find success in a fulfilling life. It's important to remember that you have to believe in yourself before anyone else will. Self-belief is trusting that you know what's best for yourself and your future. It means feeling secure enough to take risks, trying new things, and embrace challenges without worrying about the outcome or what others think of you. When you believe in yourself, you'll fulfill your goals and dreams and create the life you want. You'll have self-doubt along the way, and it will stop you from seeing things through because you'll start to believe you can't do it. But regaining self-belief can be challenging but rewarding yet transformative, requiring patience, self-compassion, and commitment. Believing in yourself requires reflection on past achievements, setting attainable goals, fostering a positive mindset, and surrounding yourself with supportive people. With dedication and perseverance, you can rebuild your self-confidence and reignite faith in yourself. Second, being mindful of the stories you tell yourself and your self-talk is the first step toward learning to believe in yourself when nobody else does. Start by paying attention to your internal dialogue. Be mindful of how negative or positive it is. For every negative thought, ask yourself, what evidence is there that is true? Then develop a more rational and positive belief that replaces the old one. For example, if you think, I can't do anything right, replace it with, I may make mistakes, but I learn from them and get better each time. It's also important to recognize when others are projecting their insecurities and doubts onto you. Don't take it personally or let it affect your self-belief. Instead, use positive self-talk to affirm that what they said is invalid. Third, believing in yourself begins with knowing you are the only one capable of taking control of your life and making it successful. Realizing this helps you build confidence in yourself and understand that you can overcome any challenge or obstacle that may arise. Having faith in yourself doesn't imply that you'll always succeed. Instead, it equips you to recover more rapidly from setbacks. 
To achieve this, we must adopt a unique perspective on failure and use previous disappointments and failures as stepping stones that guide us toward greater happiness. By embracing our failures as valuable lessons and challenges, we become more adept at gaining insights from them. As we learn from these experiences, we find it simpler to rise again and redouble our efforts to pursue the goals we have established for ourselves. A solid foundation for self-confidence is rooted in trust. People who have faith in themselves tend to exude confidence and achieve success. They possess a positive self-image and are content with their identity and accomplishments. They can believe in themselves even when no one else does. Trust, however, can be both earned and lost. Consequently, when someone lacks trust, they doubt everything, including their capabilities. In contrast, those with greater self-confidence possess an innate sense that allows them to trust themselves and others. Fifth is knowing no one controls the way we live our lives. And recognizing this is important because it helps you focus on what you can control. It's crucial to understanding that altering your focus requires dedication and practice. Making the conscious decision to shift your thought patterns and concentrate on different aspects is gradual. There will be instances when your attention is drawn to negative circumstances during these moments. Recognize your thoughts. Set them aside and focus on healthier and more positive elements within your control. As you continue to practice, your ability to redirect your focus will improve over time. One of the most important things to believe in yourself is adopting a growth mindset in everyday life as it positively impacts various aspects of your personal and professional life. Some key benefits of a growth mindset are adaptability, resilience, enhanced motivation, better relationships, and greater creativity. To develop a growth mindset, begin by embracing challenges and recognizing the value of effort in the learning process. It's essential to shift the focus from purely outcome-based thinking to acknowledging the importance of persistence, determination, and hard work. Cultivating a curiosity for knowledge and an enthusiasm for learning can help facilitate the shift. Setting achievable goals, breaking them down into smaller steps, and celebrating progress along the way can encourage continuous improvement. Another critical aspect of developing a growth mindset is learning to view failures and setbacks as opportunities for growth rather than indications of personal inadequacy. This involves reframing negative experiences as valuable lessons and using them to inform future actions. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people who share a passion for growth and self-improvement can also contribute to developing a growth mindset, providing a supportive environment that encourages personal development and fosters a learning culture. Ultimately, cultivating a growth mindset involves consciously embracing challenges, learning from experiences, and persistently working toward self-improvement. Failure can be a significant source of discouragement and a considerable impediment to self-belief. Every day we climb mountains, always looking for new peaks. In other words, daily we face various obstacles and strive to overcome them, just as we would climb a mountain. We constantly seek new opportunities, goals, or experiences to conquer, pushing ourselves to achieve more and grow as individuals. When we fail, it can feel like the world is against us and feel like we're not capable or we're inadequate. Failures should be viewed as opportunities to grow, learn, and become better. The key is to take some time to reflect on what went wrong and identify how you can do things differently next time. This doesn't mean you should ignore your mistakes. Instead, it's about recognizing them for what they are and using the experience to inform future actions. By embracing failure as an integral part of the learning process, we can transform our setbacks into opportunities for growth and self-improvement. At the heart of this perspective lies the concept of a growth mindset, which we discussed earlier, which entails the belief that intelligence and abilities can be developed through dedication, hard work, and learning. By accepting that mistakes and setbacks are inevitable and pursuing new ideas, we create an environment where creativity can thrive. Recognizing that failure is growth means embracing life setbacks with an open mind and a willingness to learn. When reflecting on your belief in yourself, several fundamental questions underlie this self-assessment, shaping your self-confidence and understanding of your abilities. Some questions you can ask yourself are, what are my strengths and weaknesses? How do I handle challenges and setbacks? What are my values and priorities? 
Do I trust my intuition and judgment? How do I perceive and measure success? By exploring and addressing these questions, you can better understand your self-belief and identify areas where you may need to cultivate greater confidence and trust in yourself. When we feel confident in ourselves, we naturally concentrate on our strengths instead of our weaknesses. Understanding and leveraging our strengths can propel us toward personal growth and success. Some strategies for exploring and capitalizing on your strengths are reflect on your past experiences, accomplishments, and challenges. Identify the abilities and qualities that have contributed to your achievements and recognize patterns in your successes. You would ask for input from friends, family, colleagues, or mentors about your strengths. Gaining an external perspective can provide valuable insights and help you discover strengths you may not have recognized. Another way is to utilize personality tests, aptitude assessments, or strength-finding tools to understand your unique strengths and natural talents better. These assessments can provide valuable insights and help you identify areas where you excel. Once you've identified your strengths, invest time and effort in honing them. Engage in activities that challenge and nurture your strengths and seek opportunities to apply them in various contexts. Establish personal and professional goals that align with your strengths and develop a plan to achieve these objectives. This approach will enable you to leverage your strengths more effectively and increase your chances of success. While focusing on your strengths is important, recognizing and accepting your flaws is equally crucial. This awareness allows you to address areas for improvement and seek support when necessary, ensuring a more balanced approach to personal growth. Focusing on your strengths allows you to concentrate on areas where you naturally excel, making you more effective, fulfilled, and capable of reaching your full potential. In short, your dreams, vision, and goals can be different from the understanding of others. You aren't required to reveal them to anyone. Don't let fear stop you. It is entirely acceptable if you desire to keep them close to your heart or shield them as your cherished secret. However, the most crucial element is learning to have faith in yourself, embracing your vision, and trusting that profound inner insight and the wisdom that resides within. Only your eyes can see it, and that, when truly reflected on, is a remarkable treasure. Continue to focus on your past successes, follow your path, create a vision board to see the bigger picture, practice self-love, and try to step out of your comfort zone. One last thing to note, and this is the most important thing, have patience with yourself. It's human nature not to be patient. Anything you work hard at, are challenged by, and anything complicated will happen slowly. Don't worry about how long it takes. And don't compare yourself to someone else. Be patient with yourself. Take action and keep going. Stay focused on your vision and have faith that it will happen. Okay, I love to hear from you. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest level of self-belief and 1 being the lowest, where do you currently stand in your journey of self-belief? Please also tell me what you think will help you reach the next level of believing in yourself. What actions do you plan to take to build trust and believe in yourself further? Please share your thoughts in the comments. On that note, I invite you to join my self-esteem course, where I show you ways to make a shift to move forward instead of being held back, stuck, and frustrated. You'll learn to build your self-esteem, think more positively, and be happier. You'll get a self-esteem boosting set of tips, abilities, actions, and best practices that can continually and repeatedly raise your self-image and self-esteem. I'll put a link down below. I want you to be all you can be by changing your thoughts and feelings about yourself. I believe in you and I want you to believe in yourself. I'm excited and I hope to see you there. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Stay positive, friends.